here. <laughs> uh, that's amazing. That's an amazing story because now you know what uh, a famous person in Sri Lanka feels like. So that, I mean, that you're, you're conscious about yourself sometimes Absolutely. as well. As like when we would see a star, we're like, yes. okay, do I look <laughs> neat right now? <laughs> yeah. Hey, how's it going? You know. <laughs> so Absolutely. That was that was not something I wanted to experience, but I did. But then it, it, it also makes you realize that no matter what you look like, people still recognize you. Mm -hmm. And that's the scariest, scariest <laughs> thought. But um, I, it is what it is. I mean, you know, you, 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 that's why they say, you know, when you're, when you're a celebrity or you're an artist uh, and pe person in the limelight, you just have to look your best all the time. Mm -hmm. But in this case, I wanted to look my best, but I've obviously had, <laughs> I had a need. I had to stop. <laughs> by the supermarket and uh, grab this and well, just what it is. So. Have you tried disguises at any point? Oversized sunglasses, trench coats, <laughs> nothing, nothing <laughs> trench like coat that going in um, Kavito in Sri Lanka. If I were to disguise myself, um, a buyer would be good. <laughs> <laughs> and big dark glasses and uh, yeah. Go, just no one recognize yeah. you when no you can walk about yeah. as you want. Yeah. That would be cool actually. <laughs> and Sri Lankan culture is such that there are some norms and expectations and they can be a bit, um, how shall we say, very judgmental. judgmental. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. yes. Definitely then in Sri Lanka, very judgmental and they don't see the usual, then they, they, they're not used to the norm, they're like, huh, you know, you look different. You've, have you gained weight? Um, you've actually lost a lot of weight. I think, you know, well, I mean, why, why, why you lose, lost so much weight? I'm like, hello, do you know how hard it is? <laughs> hard I have worked to get to this point, and you know, you know how it is, so. Uh, <laughs> I would, I think. Uh, thank you very much for knowing that. I tend to work, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, okay, now the worst, now this is obviously people, like, not everyone, I'm just saying there's, the, uh, a couple of people do it, everywhere in the world people do tend to judge, and they also tend to spread around gossip, and we spoke about this before. What is the worst piece of gossip that you think you've heard? Something that really got to you, you know, really hit home. I'm you guessing there's a lot. <laughs> no, funnily, <laughs> I, no, no, I mean, funnily, I haven't really heard any uh, negative gossip about me. Oh, yeah, that's so great. I, I wish people make up <laughs> stuff, <laughs> but uh, finally, no, nothing. I have not heard really. Mm, no, I haven't really heard. Be anything. careful what you wish for, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah <that's laughs> true. No, but yeah. again, she's a very positive person, so the positive will only. Make no, but I mean, I'm, I'm expecting it. I mean, obviously, in this industry, you have to expect mm -hmm. uh, criticism, and uh, people are always going to talk. So mm -hmm. I'm expecting that. It's I'm surprised that they haven't. Right. I'm, yeah. I'm expecting it. <laughs> <laughs> But now that you're going international, and it's all about the attitude, isn't it? How you face all of these it's all about the swag. situations. It's all about the swag. <laughs> there we go. I like advice. that word, you know, swag. <laughs> I, I, do you like that word swag? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. You I, don't like that? I don't like it. I, I like the <laughs> word plus. It's nicer. You know, like so for a man, I think it's, it's a, a boy it's a thing to call it swag. E okay. It's kind of a cool way of saying, you know, a lot. You, that I'm cool has, in a way. Yeah. 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 I should Got get down with the. You know that Jason has work. swag. Jason has swag. I do. <laughs> I think. There we go. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. Anyways, now getting into. Uh, I, I wanted to ask you this. This is the most important question I oh have to goodness. ask you. You are hot. Must be the. AC is on, right? <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> Just be the I did the same thing with Jackie Fernandez. I said, you are hot. She's like, I'm not um. really sure that's the question. <laughs> but yeah, I just had to put you under uh, that pressure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, I mean, literally, like, like, not It's warm, the lights, hot. I think. It's not warm, but I mean. It is really the lights. I mean, good looking. <laughs> you are amazing. Oh, gee, no. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? I had uh, to put you on this one. Why really. would you do that? <laughs> He just likes to do that. He likes saying it Putting and then looking at your face. You yes. <laughs> Why would you make <laughs> me feel awkward now? Seriously. I mean, but we have this really lengthy conversation we and we got along really well. I mean, she's been really nice and now you've got to put me on the spot, really. <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously? Well, it's, it, it works both ways. So mm. I, I guess it, it's fine. Let me think of a question I can ask you. Ah, all right. Shoot. Let's go. No, it's I'm obviously <laughs> on national TV. <laughs> we shall wait after we go off. Um, Anyways, so that was what? just awkward. Oh, I'm, I'm so mad that you, I brought You up. brought it up. 
So I yeah, it up. let me rescue on Jason. Swiftly. <laughs> let me rescue Jason. So tell us, I mean, at some point your career is going to taper off, and you there will be a twilight zone for you as well, right? I, I hope so. I, That's what I'm working somewhere, out. For. Uh, hopefully, somewhere far away in the future, but it's there as well. So, any plans about how we are going to? Travel, maybe travel the world. There's you have a bucket list that you want to go for. There's a lot of travel involved, definitely, starting probably <laughs> from next month. I don't know how how many times I'll have to travel back and forth, mm -hmm. but um, bucket list, um, definitely not bungee jumping, but skydiving is something I'm thinking of. I do wow. know that they do skydiving here in Sri Lanka. Do they? Oh, yeah, they do apparently. Huh. Oh, I I definitely check out. So everything. Yes. I, I guess everything that you need is here yeah. in this country. So you don't really need to travel. But traveling is in your bucket list. Yeah. Traveling is a part of my job. Right. Obviously, it, I, I, it's, it's definitely. So you're a people part of my person. Job. You like seeing new cultures. I'm definitely new a faces. people person. Yeah. 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 I, I definitely want to do. What's all the that. country you really want to travel to? <coughs> like you really want to see and experience. I want to go to uh, go see the Great Canyon. Oh, the Grand Canyon. Oh, Grand Canyon. right, right, right. Yes. Yeah. yeah, the Grand Canyon. Apparently, Grand it's Canyon. like a lot of people say, hey, look, it looks di it's a picture. Yeah, you should be like, oh, it's No, it's... It really feels different when you actually yeah. go there. Yeah. All right, so Grand Canyon is your number four on your bucket list. What is your number three? Number three. Hmm. Off the top of your head. Um, Great Wall of China, for sure. All right. So, uh, it's a lot of traveling to do with yeah. this. Not something that you would think about. And you know no. what? I want to actually go and see whole of Sri Lanka because being mm -hmm. a Sri Lankan I haven't traveled I haven't seen uh, I, haven't, I haven't been to Hambantota I haven't been to Jaffna I haven't been to um, quite a few places I know you're looking at me like seriously Natasha you should get a slap <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm not judging because like until recently is when I started literally started traveling so I mean I guess you would it, it, it's, it's a lot with a lot of Sri Lankans they, it's all to do with timing because yeah. uh, mm -hmm. you know I mean you never appreciate what you have here until you're out there and people are dying to come and see what, what's here. Mm -hmm. So um, I definitely want to see my country first before I travel and see the world. Obviously, I mean, this is, this is where, I, this, is, this is who I am. Right. And uh, I, I would definitely want to uh, definitely go see uh, Sri Lanka. What a great way to yeah. end. I would want to see my country Absolutely. before I see the world. Yeah. Well, thank you, Natasha, for being on the show. It's thank been you so for amazing. Me. Such a great experience with you. Oh, thank um, you so much. And we much. wish you all the best for the future. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. of course. Anyways, uh, do visit us on www.facebook.com forward slash Good Morning Sri Lanka. Click the like button. Stand the chance to win MTV merchandise, like a coffee mug or something. And don't go anywhere because I will be right back with Dr. Namal Senasinghe on our usual Monday morning segment on pain management. So stay with us. Sri Lanka, you're here with me, Amaya, on a Monday morning, which means that it's time now for our special segment on pain management with Dr. Namal Senesinghe. Good morning, Doctor. Good morning, Doctor. Welcome Amaya. back to the show. Thank you very much. And how has the response been so far? I heard that it's you have some very positive responses. It's good, actually, especially from the, uh, the outside Sri Lanka, United Kingdom, oh. uh, United States, uh, a lot of my friends and <laughs> my, my staff in the hospital, the uh, they have written um, many nice things about the program and, and they are quite p pretty impressed with the whole show actually. Not only, not only myself, the, uh, the way you conduct the interview and also the recording, the quality <laughs> and, and I'd like to thank uh, MTV and Celeza for giving me the opportunity. And thank you so much thank for you. taking some time out of your schedule and being here with us because I'm sure this adds a lot of value to uh, Monday mornings for all our viewers. So today we are going to speak about another type of pain. And today it will be neuralgia, yeah. isn't it? So this is not a term that I think many people are familiar with. Tell us, doctor, what is neuralgia? Uh, neuralgia is uh, uh, pain arising due to altered sensations in the nerves. Uh, these are very minor, small nerves supplying one small area in the body, which is called a dermatome in clinical uh, uh, language. But then uh, uh, to the layman, it's in a small area of the body over the skin so that can lead to pain uh, which is quite uncomfortable and sometimes uh, it can be dramatic and then there are two types of neuralgias main types uh, one is the post herpetic neuralgia 
arising from the uh, chicken pox virus, which is varicella zoster, mm -hmm. uh, due to uh, somebody, I'll come to that later, and the second type is the, the trigeminal neuralgia, which is also called quite a serious disease, and then you get other neuralgic pains like scar pain due to uh, scars uh, caused by operations, can be a post hernia scars, can be any, any, any scar due to cesarean sections, abdominal scars due to any uh, laparotomies, so things like that. So that is neuralgia. So let's, uh, you mentioned trigeminal neuralgia. Yes. Tell, uh, tell us, tell our viewers what this is and what are the symptoms? Trigeminal neuralgia is, uh, the trigeminal nerve is the fifth nerve coming from the brain. There are 12 spinal nerves, so the trigeminal nerve is the fifth nerve. And there are main three branches uh, of the trigeminal nerve supplying that eye and that, that area is the ophthalmic branch. Then you get the maxillary branch and lower third so, uh, is called the mandibular branch. It's commoners over the uh, mandibular branch. And then what happens is that the, uh, uh, the trigeminal ganglion gets stimulated for some reason due to a tumor, due to pressure on the ganglion inside the brain. So people, patients will end up with normally one-sided pain, uh, severe pain uh, uh, arising due to the uh, pressure on the trigeminal ganglion and that can lead to uh, quite drastic um, uh, uh, effects and uh, and also these um, the, the pain pain normally uh, it is increased in the cold weather due to wind blowing and if you go out and there's a breeze the pain is increased and also sometimes in the lower uh, nerve the mandibular branch people have a problem chewing as well they can't you know they, sometimes they think it's a pain coming from their teeth yeah, uh, yeah. that was my going to be my next question because is it something to do with the toothache no or? because if the, the what we do is when they come with the lower mandibular branch pains we send them to a dentist and they exclude normally they exclude any dental problems I see. and also we tend to uh, we refer them to ENT surgeons to exclude any ear problems mm -hmm. and and then when when nothing has been diagnosed we come to the conclusion they probably have trigeminal neuralgia I see so I've read somewhere that this is actually called the suicidal pain the sui that it's um, known to cause suicide because the pain is yeah. that intense and tell us, uh, is it actually this serious? Is it a chronic pain that lasts for a long time? The, the thing is, people get frustrated, and I have many patients actually. Uh, I almost, almost all the patients telling me, mm -hmm. "Doctor, I've, I've had enough. I feel like ending my life," which is very true actually. I, I, I think it can be, it can be quite uh, irritating, especially mm -hmm. pain in the face. You know, yes. and 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 uh, they they do tell me, "Doctor, I've had enough." So normally what happens is they become depressed and then the pain gets worse. It's like, it's a vicious cycle. So it's like the chicken and the egg. You know, mm -hmm. it goes in a cycle and then depression kicks in and then, you, you know, uh, the symptoms get worse, then the symptoms get worse, the depression gets worse. So we have to treat them psychologically as well to, to, to be able to deal with the pain. So, uh, what are the causes of this? Is it something that is preventable or is it inevitable? The, the causes are, can be idiopathic, can be pressure on the trigeminal ganglion, due to tumors, it, it, cause not known, unknown. I see. Yeah, and, and um, the other one is uh, uh, pressure on the uh, uh, trigeminal ganglion due to vascular problems, some dilatation in a vessel close to the ganglion, then can be tumors, but they, they are, uh, tu if it's a tumor, it's resectable. The neurosurgeons will get involved, you remove the pressure, then the symptoms get better. But the problem we have is treating the people who haven't got a problem, uh, another problem, uh, secondary, uh, primary cause for the trigeminal neuralgia, which is, the, I, I told you, it's the idiopathic group. Mm -hmm. So then, then, of course, we have 